There's a truce, but just here on Gaza's border with Israel, there's no such thing as calm. You see anger, soon followed by live sniper rounds, finding their targets. Scores of life-changing injuries, mainly young people. Here, those wanting to express themselves with words, not actions, families with children risking their lives, mixing with activists. Do they believe the fighting can end? The truce won't hold for long. The protesters have an objective. Until they get what they want, there is going to be no calm. The ceasefire can't last because we have land here. The occupation has taken land by force. We will get it back. Not far away, another rush with no cover for protection. It's evident the numbers turning out have increased compared with last week's demonstrations. The toxic mix of black smoke and tear gas remains much the same as previous protests. The motto for this demonstration is freedom and life. But this isn't the only form of protest in Gaza today. Inside Gaza City, behind the rubble, comes a different sound. Peaceful protest on top of what remains of a cultural center crushed by bombing on Thursday. Israel had said that the five-story building was owned by Hamas, and it had a presence here. These people aren't fighters. We have lost our cultural office, but Gaza loses more than this, a theatre that helped hundreds of artists. I ask UNESCO and the international community to immediately open an investigation into the Israeli crime. Passive resistance to life under siege. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera, Gaza City.